townsfolk of Honeydale prepare for their annual harvest festival, but up in the castle, evil mischief stirs. Plan number 42. I shall turn myself into a cat and get adopted by the butcher's daughter so I can learn all her secrets. Then, I will use them to make her fall in love with me. Ah, ah, ah. What do you think, Wilson? Ah, it's true, Wilson. Most of my ideas are brilliant. Ah, ah, ah. As Dracula says this, Igor enters the room holding the tray. Your tea, sir. I take a sip. Ah, this is amazing, Igor. What new flavor is this? Pumpkin spice, sir. It is very popular with the locals. I also added some blood for you. Fascinating. I'm not quite familiar with this blood. What is it? Turkey, sir. Tis the season, I suppose. You're thinking Christmas, sir. This week is the harvest festival. Christmas needs to wait its turn. Ah! The Harvest Festival. The time when all the villagers celebrate what they are thankful for with a big feast. That I'm never invited to! Alright, I walk to the window to, uh, look out at the town. Igor, where are my binoculars? I'm not sure, Master. I will look for them. Here's your blat glass in the meantime. Really? Bat glass? It's a freaking spyglass with bat wings taped to the side. Bartender, another ale, and keep them coming. I look through the spyglass into town. Dracula looks through the glass. He sees the town of Honeydale alive with the townsfolk setting up decorations for the festival. A glint of light catches his eyes, and he sees the werepup with his binoculars in his mouth. Never mind, Igor. I found them. That duh. Dracula stops suddenly as he notices the werepup glaring back at him. Almost as if he could sense Dracula speaking ill of him. Ah. That werepup scares me. I look back again. Give me a perception roll. Alright. Uh. Uh, 18. On top of the townsfolk preparing for the festival, Dracula notices the butcher's daughter exiting her father's shop and beginning to walk down the main street. Hmm. I believe this is the perfect time to explore the Harvest Festival and gather more information on my future bride-to-be. Excellent idea, Master. She will need to know you exist before she falls in love with you. Don't forget your umbrella this time. We don't need you to be catching on fire again. I take my umbrella and go to town to explore the Harvest Festival and learn more about the Butcher's Daughter. As Dracula walks through the town, he takes in the sights and smells of the festival preparations. After a few minutes of walking, he finally finds the butcher's daughter. I approach the butcher's daughter to greet her. Good afternoon, milady. Oh, hello again. Dracula, wasn't it? Haven't seen you for some time. As the butcher's daughter says this, a rugged figure walks by, cigar in mouth, and immediately grabs her attention. Oh, hello, Van. How are you today? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm fine. How are you about ye? I'm doing quite well, thank you. I see you are getting ready to go on the annual harvest hunt. Yes, it's an exciting tradition, and quite dangerous. The wilds are full of creatures. If I promise to bring back the biggest turkey for the town, Hope you get a big bird with your strong arms, she says as she bats her eyes. We apologize for this terrible writing due to the writer's strike. Now back to the show. The butcher's daughter takes Van by the arm and continues to talk to him as they head to the edge of town. Am I being ignored? Would you like to make a perception check? No, I don't need to. I know when a girl's ignoring me. I have extensive experience in this matter. <sighs> Me too. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Oi, nerds, stop being depressing. If I wanted that, I'd go talk to any of my exes. Now, back to the paler nerd failing at romance. 
You'd think after 600 years he'd be better at this. Achoo! Was someone talking about me? Ah! They must have been terrified by my return. Ah, ah, ah. So, she wants a big bird, does she? Very well. I shall give the hunters the last turkey they shall ever see! Ah, ah, ah. I turn into a bat and fly back to the castle to the bat lab. Are you sure you want to do that? Uh... It is the fastest mode of travel for me. It would also set you on fire. Again. Oh, right. Sunlight. Umbrella. I need a bat-sized umbrella. A bat umbrella. Can I unalive him? No, I need him for the content. We can find another pale nerd. They're not exactly in short supply. No, bat dwarf. Don't make me get the spray bottle. You wouldn't dare try me. Fine, nerd. Back at the bot lab. Ugh, I still hate that name. Ah, ah, ah. I've done it, Igor. Another masterpiece. Because the last one worked perfectly, master. Exactly. It worked perfect. Should we not test it first, master? Hmm. Yes. Grab a turkey. Sir. We only brought the one turkey from town. Maybe we should test it on something else first. Ah, oh, yes. Good point, Igor. I look around the lab and slowly eye Wilson with a creepy smile. I take the syringe in hand and stab the whiteboard with it. Dirty 12. Okay, um, what's the AC of a magic whiteboard again? Oi! You nerds don't know this? It's two. Wait, where does it say that? Monster Guide, third edition, page 34, by Mages of the Beach. What? We're not doing third edition, we're doing fifth. Wait, why go third to fifth? That doesn't make sense. Because the fourth doesn't exist. That still doesn't make- Hey, hey. The fourth doesn't exist. If you three are done, Dracula has already stabbed Wilson, and, uh, well, see for yourself. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, oh sh**! Wilson begins to rock back and forth violently. Suddenly, he begins to change. Dracula and Igor watch in shock and awe. As before them, Wilson, the white boar, has grown... Cat ears and a tail? What? I step back. See, Igor, it worked perfectly. Igor? I turn to look at Igor. Dracula sees the door to the bat lab slam shut in the sound of the door locking. Igor? Dracula slowly turns to see Wilson right next to him. On the whiteboard, the word meow appears. I don't think it worked. Oh, it worked perfectly. <laughs> nice kitty. Roll for initiative with disadvantage. <laughs> Due to the fact that we want to maintain an E rating, we won't be able to show or describe the events that transpired. But I'm pleased to announce that the battle lab will be out of commission for quite some time. After his... fatal? He's already undead. Through. After his sort of fatal encounter with the weather board, Dracula prepares for the turkey hunt in his study. Thank you, Nurse Lich. You're welcome, Master. But you know, you can just call me Liz. Ah, now I've seen it all. A were white board, and now a Lich flirting with a vampire. Buddy, you ain't seen nothing yet. Should we tell him about the sword? No, 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 no. Let him enjoy his ignorant bliss. Bartender, I need a mug of your strongest beverage. You know what? Bring me the entire keg. I'm gonna need it. Igor, fetch my hunting clothes. Master, do you want the tights also? Of course! The outfit doesn't work without them. These are hard to get on. Ugh. 
You got to be a man to wear tights, Igor. Come, Igor. It's time to go hunting. Ah, ah, ah. Dracula and Igor leave the castle with a fat turkey in tow. They don't travel long before the werepup follows by curiosity or because he wants to eat the fat turkey. The party arrives at the forest to hatch their evil plan on the unsuspecting hunters. It is time, Igor. Today, we ruin the festival hunt. Give me the turkey. As you wish, master. I take the syringe of were juice and stab the turkey in the neck with the needle. The turkey begins to grow. Its legs stretch and large claws appear. Its wings spread out and extend with spikes at the end. And where its beak once was, a large mouth with jagged teeth forms. Hearing the roar, the hunters seeing the turkey scream in terror and run away, all but one that is. The lone hunter, Van, stands firm, drawing his crossbow. Attack my minion! Okay, I need you to make an animal handling roll. Shouldn't I have advantage? Did you have it with Wilson? Never mind. Ah! I need new dice. Yeah, you do. The were turkey turns around ignoring the fleeing hunters and fun, and eyes Dracula with a murderous glare. Igor, perhaps my perfect plan needed some work. We should go. Igor? Dracula turns to see Igor. Holy <laughs> for being 2,000 years old, he's very spry. I didn't know he could move that fast either. And that's the second time today he's left me! Ah, I should be running too. Yes, yes you, you should. should. Turkey charges you. Give me a deck save with disadvantage. Ah, sh The were turkey knocks Dracula prone as it runs him over. Dracula attempts to rise as the were turkey turns around to charge again. Before it can, Crossbow bolt strikes it hard in the side, and a shadowy figure jumps between Dracula and the beast. God, watched her. You shall not hurt this weak old man. Hey, I'm not that old. You're older than the Roman Empire, you knife-eared albino. Anyway, the turkey growls and charges Van. That's right. Come at me, you fiendish fowl. He fires another bolt at the charging beast, but it only grazes it. The were turkey continues to charge. Van rolls out of the way, and Dracula is knocked down again. Why didn't you protect me? Why didn't you dodge, old man? I don't like you, Van. I don't care. I'm in a lot of hunting business. I don't have time for not to Before Van can say another word, the were turkey out of nowhere, hits him in the side and sends him flying into Dracula, knocking them both to the ground. Ah! Oh, my spleen! The were turkey stands over Dracula and Van, growling. Suddenly, from the bushes behind them, a large roar echoes through the forest. <laughs> The were turkey squeaks in fear and runs away. From the bushes, the were pump jumps out and chases after the turkey. Van gets up and chases after the both of them. Hey, come back here. I'm not done yet, you big gobbler. I hope the were pup eats him. Stupid hat and all. Now, where did my shoes go? After searching long and hard, Dracula was only able to find one of his shoes. He returned to the castle, battered and bruised, to find Igor waiting for him. Welcome home, master. You've returned just in time for... What happened to your left shoe, master? Ah, I don't want to talk about it. And Igor, why did you leave me? Apologies, master. I had a turkey in the oven for supper.
I think I've had enough turkey to last a millennia. As you wish, Master. I will dispose of the turkey. What happened after I left, Master? Ah, the werepup chased away the turkey before it could hurt me uh, more. Oh, you mean Dennis, Master. Dennis? Yes, Dennis, the werepup from the pack in the forest. Ah, he's quite the menace. The Harvest Festival began later that day. The townsfolk gathered together to celebrate a new year of a successful harvest. They played music, sang songs, and enjoyed the entertainment and merriment. Many of the hunters told the tale of the wild beast in the forest, and how Van fought to save them all. Van never brought up the fact that he didn't save them, and that in fact it was a small wet prop from the forest named Dennis. Yeah.